Now it's the June Bank holiday weekend, so many homes across the country will be whipping out the barbecue at some stage over the next few days. And Sinead Delahunty now joins us with a burger option that's perfect with a glass of wine and the sunshine. Oh, we're just looking forward Let to that. Let us out to it. <laughs> but it is lovely and people are spending more time in their gardens and maybe we can have six people in a garden now. So just to have a few people over, little burger, glass oh, of wine, it's perfect, perfect isn't it? Oh, it yeah. is ideal. So um, this morning I'm making my true blue burger. A true blue burger? Yes. So a little bit of blue on me and also blue because I'm from Feathered. And this is my entry in the Lidl Build a Burger competition that just launched yesterday. So it's running for the next two weeks and you um, log your entry online at lidl.ie forward slash burger. So I'm using Board Beer Irish Approved Aberdeen Angus Burger this morning and then some gorgeous Casha Blue which comes from Feathered where I'm from. Okay, so, so you mean you put it online, you, you build your burger. Build your burger. So is, are we looking for the tallest burger or the, how do you, what are you it looking for? It can be for? the tallest, the tastiest, the wackiest. But how do you know if it's the tastiest, if it's just a picture? Uh, is it what, you, what so you've put the, into yeah, it? Yeah, you, okay. you add all the flavours to it, you know, so you okay. build your flavours, you build it up high and then you enter it. Yeah. Okay. So what really do you nice. win? What do you win? I actually, I'm not too sure, okay. but I'm sure. Plenty, <laughs> Plenty of burgers. burgers. <laughs> a year's so, supply of burgers. <laughs> how bad? So you'll be able to uh, get all your friends in to judge and see is it just as good. Of course, this lovely, fancy uh, hob sometimes isn't the best thing for me. Um, but what I was going to say, but also obviously get your barbecue on, get your grill pan on. Yeah. Now the burger, I see it. I've started to do this now yep. where I've, I had burgers last night like oh, this. Go on. And I like, like that. I had my extra virgin olive oil, put yep. that on it and let it soak into it like exactly what you're doing now. So I'm learning something. You have mastered and it. And then just put some seasoning on it and it was gorgeous. So I just use literally salt and pepper, you know? Oh, just salt and, and just your oil, exactly. Again, get your veggies prepped, you know, if you're doing some, you know, red onion or just regular onions, or you could put in grilled veg in there as well. So I'm just using onions um, and then our burger. So exactly. Okay, so do we need to... the two getting your barbecue on or your pan on. Yeah. Again, you can do this in the oven. Again, you know, your classic Irish indoor barbecue, no harm with that at all. Um, so get your onions on, get your burger on then, you hear the do little you, sizzle. You'll hear the little sizzle there. That's a grill, of, that's a grill pan, isn't it? Yeah. Is, it is it important to do burgers on a grill pan? No. So no. burger okay. or like a regular pan is fine. What you will find with the grill pan is that the oil will obviously stay away from the meat because it'll drain. Yeah. So if you're using a regular pan, you might get some um, kind of extra, we'll say the oil or the moisture from the burger might kind of stay on the pan. Okay. So you might just need to, you know, drain it off a little bit, but that's totally fine. Now we know? do we do have to be careful about cooking burgers and they to be cooked right through, don't they? Yeah, definitely cooked through. Yeah, so again, just watching your time, generally four minutes on each side and having your pan nice and hot. Um, get your fan on obviously yeah. as well in your, in your kitchen. I'm just going to turn this a little bit down so we don't set off any fire alarms or anything here and then your bun. You gotta get your bun on, get it heated through Yeah, there I don't well. understand people who don't uh, toast their buns or put them in the grill like that. No. I love the bun when it's, um, when it's get nice it and toasty, yeah. That's it, you know, and just like, then you can step away, just let that do its thing. Um, and then I'm going to make um, just a lovely, simple blue cheese um, little sauce. So I just have some plain Greek yogurt here. Okay, so we have one that you've made already. Exactly, so that's just prepped earlier. And that's important as well, that when you have your burger cooked, to let it sit, just like you would any other kind of piece of meat. Let it sit for a little bit, you know, another little bit of um, the juice from it might just drain, that's totally fine. And then you're ready to go pop it in, because your, your bun will be toasted. And how long, do you, how long would you let it sit? How long would you let me meat sit? About five minutes. Oh, really? Yeah, so you can either take it off the pan like I have done on a separate plate, or you could leave it like on the pan, but off the heat. Okay. So a couple options. So I just have some gorgeous cash of blue and then some plain yogurt and I'm just gonna essentially mash it all together. So you get a really nice kind of smooth taste. Um, so you've cashew blue cheese and yogurt. Yeah. Okay. So I know a little bit different because I know cashew blue is quite tangy. It is a blue cheese. It is quite strong. Not your standard cheddar, we'll say, but it is stunning. And when you mix it with um, the yogurt, you just get a lovely sauce. And then that just is, can take maybe the tang out of the blue, you know, if some people find it a little bit too much. And is this what you're looking for in this competition, like coming, people to come up with like different maybe concoctions and different ways of doing it? 
Definitely, something different. Yeah, you know, that's what food is. That's what the best yeah. bit of food is all about, all about. You know, making something a little bit different. Um, I won from earlier. Um, yeah, that's it. And that's like the fun bit of food. You know, is to try things that maybe other people won't like, but you'll love. Mm. Or they might actually, you know, go and try something a little bit different. So just yeah. popping a little bit of relish on the bottom. Um, and then going to get my onions, get the lettuce in there, and then our burger and the cashew blue sauce. So it honestly couldn't be simpler. And what did you pop on your burger last night? I just had seasoning and that was it. Yeah. And I just I just fried up a few onions, but that was it. Lovely. Like, just see, when I have burger, I, I know it's very strange. I, I, <laughs> I said this already. When I order a burger in a restaurant, I ask for it without the bun. Yeah, and that's okay. <laughs> I just that's have okay. a burger. You're still having the burger. I still had the burger. And but I love the dressings then, but I just don't want the, the, the bun. bun. Yeah. But I'll totally have the dressings fine. on it. But sure, you know, any barbecue, you know, it's all about like, you know, having what you what yeah. you want yeah. on it. Um, onions now need a little bit longer, so I'm just gonna gonna. But some people like through. raw onions on their burger as well. Do yeah, personally, I prefer definitely for red onion it to be cooked. Right. It can be quite tangy, and uh, so I'm gonna skip my onions for a little minute, and then just a nice dollop of this. Again, you could pop it all under the grill, you know, at this stage, or even if your burger was still on the pan, mm. um, and it'll just start to melt through. And then... So mine are totally caramelised onions here. I here. know, they are well cooked through there, so yeah, you get a really nice little punch of flavour. <coughs> if you have a little stick, also important just to keep it all together. And then, will we now dig you're, in? you're breaking my uh, rule of I'm actually having a bun with the burger. <laughs> my God, Go for it, let's go for it. Mmm. <laughs> Good, lots of mess everywhere. Oh. <laughs> oh, so tasty. Good, and those those buns are good as well. Brioche. Mm. Yeah. So really, really nice and soft. So nice. Thank you so much. Most mm. welcome. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. Now, full recipe details are up on our website.